Hello, Hello friends. I Pankaj Dunga. Welcome you all to this discussion on fluid mechanics. Today, what I will be doing is uh, I will be developing components of rotation of rotating matter in R theta direction. In the last lecture, I have developed I developed the uh, uh, R in uh, components of rotating rotation in Z direction. Okay. So let us consider that A, B, C, E, F. G D is a cylindrical element, and if you want to understand what is uh, R direction or theta direction plane, so if you look closely, then this plane, that is B C F E, is a plane which is perpendicular to the base, that is X Y or R theta plane, and parallel to Z. So this is the plane that is theta Z plane we are talking about. Okay, so now let us derive the Uh, rotation of rotating matter in for this particular plane. So to make the picture clear, let me draw this one more separately. Okay. So this and somewhat enlarge so that you can get a better feel of this particular plane. Okay. Now look, this is B, this is C, this is F, and this is E. What plane is this? This is R. And this is a theta and z plane. So the pertinent velocity parameters, which will be coming into picture, are that is one is v theta, that is the initial velocity vector, and another one is v z, that is uh, z direction. So as this is a theta z plane, so the pertinent velocity parameters are this, and they will be function of theta and z. So if you consider focus on this point B and say that at this point B. z direction velocity is vz and the tangential velocity is v theta then after turning by an angle of delta theta what will be the values so if you look here this will be v theta plus del v theta by del theta delta theta and in the z direction this will be vz plus del vz By, uh, by del theta, delta theta. Okay, okay this, this is after turning an angle of delta theta. And if you focus at point E, then this point E, which is at a distance of delta z, this point E will be having a vertical velocity after delta z, which is v z plus del v z by del z delta z, and a tangential velocity which is v theta plus del v theta by del z delta z now if you look closely then the point c is having velocity in excess of v that is it is having a relative velocity with respect to v which is this and hence this will be stretched in this direction so this component will be acting as a stretching element which is making this element to move uh, Axially or theta digit this theta direction. What about this component of velocity? This component of velocity will make the point C with respect to B to move in upward direction. That means to rotate. So this is the relative velocity with which the element point C is rotating with respect to B. So this is rotation. Likewise, if you look at point E, then this is the relative velocity of point E with respect to B. Due to which the point E will be moving outwards. Okay. That is stretching. This E B will be stretching, and that's why it is stretching velocity. And if you look this component, then this is the component due to which the point B will be having a relative velocity with respect to point B. Sorry, point E will be having a relative velocity with respect to point B in this direction, in theta direction. Therefore, this is making the element rotate. So what will happen after some time? This P C will not only be stretched but rotated. So this is what happens, and this is what happens to Mm, B E. So, so let us say this angle is delta alpha and this angle is delta beta. Okay. So if this is so, then you can make this triangle or complete this triangle if you do so. So if you complete this triangle, then this will be R delta theta. Okay. R delta theta and this will be due to the Motion in this direction times the time, that is velocity in this direction times the time, that is del v theta by del theta 
delta theta delta t and this motion is due to the uh, relative velocity of constant with respect to b in the z direction that is del bz by del theta delta theta in time delta t. Now as this angle is delta alpha so what will be tan delta alpha this will be del bz by del theta delta theta delta t divided by r delta theta plus del v theta by del theta delta theta delta t. So if you take in the denominator r delta theta common you will be getting this expression. Okay, now this when expanded and multiplied by this term will um, only get will only be giving del v z by del z delta t because rest will be of delta t square and higher, higher order. So therefore, this simply get reduced to so one by r del v z by del theta delta t, and for that small triangle delta alpha then delta alpha will be simply delta alpha. So if you divide by delta t and assume that the time is tending to zero, then this will become the angular velocity that is d alpha by dt for this particular element. So this, this is d alpha by dt. And if you try to complete the upper triangle, um, So uh, this is what this is dz and then motion in the z direction. So again let me see alpha and d1 that is del z by dz delta z del z by del z delta z in time delta t and this is motion in the theta direction that is del v theta by del z delta z. in time delta t. So this is what this is your angle uh, delta beta. So if you take tan of this tan of delta beta you will be getting what? You will be getting del v theta by del z delta z delta t divided by um, this delta z this value plus this value that is del v z by del z delta z delta t. So you can cancel this delta z out and what you can get is 1 oh sorry 1 delta t is missing. So 1 plus del v z by del z delta t inverse. Now if you expand this and multiply this term only term which will be left if you consider delta t small is this. You can try this. And here for delta t very small, the delta beta will also be very small and tan of a small angle, angle itself. So this is delta beta. So if you divide it by delta t and consider a limit that delta t is tending to 0, this simply get reduced to d beta by dt which is del v theta by del z. Okay. So this is what? This is the angular velocity for this particular element in this direction. So this is counterclockwise rotation, this is clockwise rotation, so this is positive, this is negative. So net uh, rotation about point uh, B or the vorticity the same thing that is in the R direction that will be d alpha by dt for this one minus d beta by dt. That is what is d alpha by dt? d alpha by dt is 1 by r del z by del theta. 1 by r del z by del theta minus d beta by dt. It is del v theta by del z. And vorticity omega r is half, sorry, rotation half is half of vorticity. So this is 1 by 2, 1 by r del v z by del theta minus del v theta by del z. Okay, so this is the component of rotation in r direction and this is the component of rotation in r direction. Now, 
if you try to find out or go for the theta direction then the plane that should be perpendicular to theta okay and this plane is the one that is dcfg is the plane and when you are watching it you should the observer should stand here to watch the rotation okay so let us um, draw this again with a bigger picture dc uh, fg okay now we are going for um, theta direction so for theta direction so if this is your t c f and g if i am not wrong let me check once more it is a uh, D C F G. Okay. Now, if you focus your attention at point D and assume that in the z direction the velocity is v z. This is delta r and this is delta z. And after moving to a distance of delta r, then this will be what? This will be v z plus del v z by del r delta r. Okay. And if this point uh, is having tangential velocity uh, sorry radial velocity as v r then here it will be v r plus del v r by del r delta r okay now after moving to a distance delta z the z direction velocity will change to v z plus del v z by del z delta z and the radial velocity will change to v r plus del v r by del r delta oh sorry 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 no r because we are moving z so it is del v r by del z delta z okay now if you look closely at this image then this particular component this this will making the point c move with respect to d in the radial direction that means this is responsible for stretching this component will make the point c to move with respect to d in the upward direction that means this will create rotation whereas if you look this this will do what this is the relative velocity at point g with respect to d and this will make the element and the elemental point g to move apart away from point d that is this is responsible for stretching whereas this will do what this will make the element to move with respect to the or elemental location g to move with respect to d okay in the radial direction that means it will try to move make the element move in this direction so this will give rotation okay so what will be the picture after some time this is what the picture will be after some time okay so if this angle is delta alpha let us say and this angle is delta beta then then let me complete this triangle so this is the one now this is delta r let us say so delta z till this point delta z then the stretch will be this that is del vz by del z delta z in time delta t and this motion this direction this length will be due to the rotation component that is del vr by del z delta z delta t and this angle is delta alpha so if you try to find out tan of this delta alpha you will be getting del vr by del z delta z delta t divided by delta z plus del v z by del z delta z delta t so this will get cancelled out and you will be getting tan of delta alpha simply as delta t 1 plus del v z by del z delta t inverse okay now when you expand this term this will be having 1 minus Uh, delta t term, then delta t square term, and so on. Cube delta t and so on. So when you multiply this, only this term will be remaining, and rest will be as they all are will be of order delta t or delta t square or so on. 
to the Gandhian negative. And for that very small data, I think this tan of alpha, which is again being very small for that time, will simply be tan delta alpha. And when you divide it by delta t, and take a limit, this and this simply becomes d alpha by dt, which is del v r by del z. So that is the angular velocity with which this line element is rotated. Likewise, if you try to complete this particular triangle, this triangle, then after some time, this is what the picture will look like. Okay, now. This is delta r, let us say till, till this point it is delta r. Okay, and then this distance is due to the stretching that is del v r by del r delta r delta t. Okay, and then this is due to the rotation that is this del v z by del r delta r delta t. Okay, and this angle is delta beta. So, What is tan of delta beta? Tan of delta beta will be del vz by del r delta r delta t divided by this delta r plus del v r by del r delta r delta t. Okay, so if you solve this, you will be getting del vz by del r delta t times 1 plus del v r by del r delta t inverse and when you expand this and multiply with this you will be getting only this term because this will be having a delta t square or higher order for small time that can be neglected those can be neglected and therefore this is del v z by del r delta t and for that small time tan of that angle delta beta itself is small and tan of that small angle will be angle itself so if you divide it by delta t you will be getting this and when you take limit that delta t is tending to zero this simply becomes d beta by dt as del vz by del r so this is the velocity with which this is rotating now as i have already said explained in the beginning that you should watch the element where the, from here from this side so the watching will be from this side so the person uh, who is watching the element to rotate should be standing here okay so if he is standing here from his perspective from the person who is standing here let us say for this person this line is rotating clockwise okay so for this person this will be rotating counterclockwise for this person person this is rotating clockwise so therefore this for this person this will be rotating clockwise so this is not the one we are not viewing from it from here we are viewing from positive side so the, for this person this is clockwise positive rotation this is counterclockwise negative rotation therefore the net view so the vorticity at point d which is the net rotation here so the vorticity at point d will be what will be d alpha by dt as this is counterclockwise for that person minus d beta by dt and what is d alpha by dt just now we have developed the expression the d alpha by dt is del v r by del z it is del v r by del z and d beta by dt is del v z by del r so this uh, sorry this is vorticity in what direction theta direction so if you want to know the rotation in theta direction that is nothing but half the vorticity so it is 1 by 2 del v r by del z minus del v z by del r so in this way you can develop the expression for um, vorticity in or rotation in this direction that is a theta likewise you can also develop the same expression for uh, r direction so in this lecture what we have learned is we have learned how to develop the Rotation or rotation or rotation component in cylindrical polar coordinates in R uh, in R direction and theta direction. And in the previous lecture, we had learned what we have learned what is rotation and how to develop the expression for the z direction rotation or rotation in cylindrical polar coordinates. So in this lecture, till this point only. If you like the video, then please do like, share, and subscribe.